Today we're checking out the Keystone Exchanger. This is arguably one of the most unique things I've had come in on the channel in a while. Let's get into it. Folks, it's a shame this is the Keystone Exchanger. Like I mentioned at the start, arguably one of the most unique things I've had come through in a long, long time. So what makes it unique? So it's essentially an analog pickup changer. What does that even mean? So if you're playing a Strat, you can get it to sound like P90s, you can get it to sound like humbuckers, you can get it to sound like a brighter version of the Strat or whatever. It's pretty sweet, let's take a look up close. Here's the pedal up close, it's nice and simple to use. At the top we have a level, which is your master volume of this particular pedal. We also have a dark and bright control. So this isn't a gain control, it essentially just adds a little bit more top end each particular notch, and it works extremely well. Over here we have a standard and a bright boost. So if you're using single coils, or a Tally or a Strat or whatever, any of those type of guitars, leave it on standard. You don't have to, but the manual recommends it. And if you're using humbuckers, you can put it onto the bright boost mode and you're good to go. The pedal works in a really simple way. We have all of these different options we can choose from in terms of voicings. We select them using the tone select option here and we turn the pedal on and off over here as well. And we can essentially make our Strat or Tally sound more like a Texas sort of style sound, a bright vintage sound, and we can customize how bright we want them thanks to the pickup adjust option over here as well. So we can essentially make a single coil sound like a modern power humbucker. How cool is that? It's not just limited to single coils, you can also use it with humbuckers. We'll try that in the video as well. A huge thanks to Keystone for setting this out. I give them a thumbs up just based on the creativity and uniqueness of this pedal. I think it does an extremely good job. I haven't actually tested them all off camera, so I'm looking forward to seeing what we can get. So let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. I'm playing my SX Telecaster. We're gonna see if we can get some fat humbucker and P90 tones out of this by using the pedal. So let's give this a shot. This is with the pedal currently off. All right, now we're on modern humbucker or modern power. So let's give this a shot and I've got the bright most of the way down. back on. Now the great thing about this particular pedal is you can just turn up the output and you can make it even brighter if you so choose. Man that sounds like a humbucker no doubt about it. Let's go over now to the P90 soap bar which is another one of my favorites. Let's have a listen. Now with it off. 
So back to that traditional telly tone. With it on. Yeah, I dig it. So you can make that even brighter if you so choose again. We'll turn, turn that up a little bit. I dig it. Now when I received the email, I was told this could actually enhance a dull or dark sounding guitar. Now the neck pickup on this is a vintage kind of spec. It's low output and it lacks a little bit of sort of chirp in my opinion. It's not a bad pickup, but that's what you get when you get a 50 style uh, neck pickup on a tally. So let's give this a shot. This is with the pedal currently off. So it's quieter than the bridge pickup, doesn't have the top end and I've got it on bright vintage mode. And I'm gonna turn up the pickup adjust to seven here. Let's give this a shot now, let's take a listen. With the back off. And back up. Cool. Over to the 84 Dan Electro, we're gonna be on the neck pickup and we're gonna see if the pedal can add that Texas-ish kind of SRV sound. So let's give this a shot. This is with the pedal currently off on neck pickup. So to my ear, it sounds a little bit kinda needs to be brighter. Let's try it now. Back on. So it definitely adds that zinginess to the top end and it kind of sounds a little bit more like that Stevie kind of sound. Not to say this is that's what it's emulating, but it's got that hot sort of Texas special kind of sound going on, which is great. Over to the rockabilly setting on the pedal. I've currently got it off. We're gonna test this out first just on bridge here. Here we go. <laughs> Pedal on. It's not even close. <laughs> Over to my Tokai LS110. This is a Japanese made Les Paul style electric guitar. Now my only small criticism of this, if you've seen my videos in the past, is the neck pickup could use a little bit more mojo on the top end. But let's have a listen to see how it sounds first. <laughs> So not a bad tone, but to my ear, it could use a little bit more brightness. I've actually got the bright boost on, and that's recommended when you're using humbuckers with this thing. Leave the bright boost on. So here we go, we're on the super clean setting. Let's give this a shot. Yeah, off. On. Even that's great already. Let's turn up this to number seven. Wow, what a 
What a difference, eh? Now, there's nothing wrong with that sort of darker tone either. It's all subjective stuff, but if you want to liven up a dark sounding humbucker, this will work great as well. And lastly, now out of my own curiosity and maybe yours as well, I'm gonna see what happens if I change it back to Hot Texas with this particular guitar. So this is Neck Pickup. <laughs> Pedal on. Sounds way more like a strat than I was anticipating it would actually. Let's just crank this all the way up here. something weird about playing this guitar and hearing that sound come through. Now, for the untrained ear, it might not sound too different, but have a listen now, ready? Same exact setting. Dark, kind of squishy sounding. It's a bright. And it's thinned out the tone in a, in a really musical way. I'm hearing that right in those middle notes. Hear how it kind of gets dead on the D string? Now... This thing rocks! Pretty cool! Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. If you do have any comments or questions, leave them below. Let me know your thoughts on the tone of this and what you were hearing on the video. I really liked what I was hearing in the room. I thought it really made my Les Paul Tokai sound a whole lot nicer on the neck pickup. I loved what this did on the Telecaster as well. And I really dug also using it with the Dan Electro with the Texas setting. I thought that sounded pretty sweet. Let me know what you think in the comments. A huge thanks again to Keystone for setting this out. If you want to find out more about it, all the links will be on screen and in the description below. This gets the thumbs up from me. I'm a huge fan of seeing something unique come through. And my understanding of this is it can be used on just about every type of electric guitar out there, no matter what pickup combinations you've got. That's pretty sweet. Thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.